with Calvary Day coach Jackie Hamilton. Four games. And they've changed the schedule of the games. Um, and the uh, that game is uh, Thursday at 7. If Beach wins, they will be playing the very next. Welcome to another edition of Holding Court. Welcome everyone to another edition of Holding Court. I am Rich McGowan alongside Don Heath as usual. And Don, uh, another week and <laughs> Groves Rebels just keep on winning. Uh, the fourth yeah. one against Johnson the other night. What does Johnson need to do to, to keep up with the Rebels? Well, Johnson really can't keep up with the Rebels. That's the problem. Uh, the Rebels are just too big. They block a lot of shots. Johnson drives to the basket, and that's perfectly suited for the, the big trees yeah. of, uh, of Groves. Uh, they go 6'9", 6'8", and 6'6", six, six in the middle. And, and uh, believe me, if you're a little guy going into that uh, forest, <laughs> uh, you're not coming out unscathed. <laughs> and uh, it's gotten worse and worse for Johnson as the games go on, and uh, uh, they I don't. They just can't match up with Gross. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, other uh, games of note from well, from the last tonight, week. Tonight, yes. Or, uh, Friday night. Uh, Savannah High will try to match up with Groves, and Savannah High is on a on a hot streak right now. They've uh, they've won 11 out of their last 15 games, and two of those losses were in a national tournament in Florida. So they're you know 11 and two against regular mm -hmm. competition, and they played Groves the first time, lost by two to them. So mm -hmm. uh, that's in Garden City this and week. And what are some things Savannah High is doing of late? Because uh, they, they started off the season pretty rough. What are some of the areas they've made strides in as a yeah, They started off 0-6, um, but it was, uh, I just got off the phone with Tim Jordan, as a matter of fact, and uh, not that I'm name dropping or anything, <laughs> but um, uh, Tim was saying um, part of the problem that they had early in the season was he has no senior starters, mm -hmm. and none of, the, none of the starters this year had started the year before. So really you had a whole new group of people out there and uh, they, they just needed to grow up. And basically what's happened is that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, they're growing up. They've uh, beaten teams that they, they lost to the first time around um, and, and they're hoping they can do the same thing against Grove. Now that may be a little tougher task, <laughs> but uh, they're so far so good for uh, the revenge tour for yes. the Blue Jackets. <laughs> And uh, on the girls' side of things, in the last week uh, in Region 3 5A, Bradwell Institute wrapped up the number one seed for the region tournament. Uh, no surprise there. They're just uh, far and away uh, deeper and, and more talented than uh, everybody else in the region this year. They're just uh, they're a tough team to stop. Uh, Richmond Hill, the Wildcats, have won five in a row. They're picking up some momentum, and that's uh, going to be especially important as their last three games of the season here in the next uh, couple weeks are against the uh, top teams that they're competing with uh, for the top spot in the region. So uh, the Wildcats gaining some momentum and they're going to need that as they face Liberty County and, and Washington County next week. Uh, Calvary Day, the girls once again defeated Savannah Christian uh, the other night and, and it just the thing with Savannah Christian, the, the problem they have against Calvary is, is once Calvary gets on a little bit of a roll, getting quick points, getting turnovers, and they can really put it, you know, eight, ten points on the board in a hurry. They've done it to Savannah Christian in every game, and it just seems to, to be enough to put them over the top. Sounds and, like sounds like they have the Johnson syndrome going against uh, Groves. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's getting to it. It's almost a mental thing where once Calvary gets those quick, you know, six, eight points all in a row. Savannah Christian, I think, sort of gets a little here we go again kind of mentality. And they've lost three? They, yeah, this Savannah Christian has lost three games all season long, all three of those games to Calvary. So, and it's 10 in a row overall, dating back wow. to December of wow. 2006. So, absolutely, it's got to be a mental block by now. And uh, Bryan County, the Redskins have clinched their first uh, uh, berth in the region uh, tournament since uh, I think uh, 2005 it was. So the Redskins are, are just in a, having a heck of a season. They're I think 15 and six, 15 and five, and uh, they're they've got a big game uh, coming up tomorrow night against Calvary Day, and then uh, Savannah Christian next week. So uh, a couple big games coming up for the Redskins to really show where they stand in terms of uh, the the region standings. Don, anything else uh, you have to add uh, coming up next week? No, Benedictine has a big game on yep. uh, Saturday night against Appling County. Uh, Benedictine's at home the rest of the way, and of course they're, sh they're shooting for that uh, big that showdown. showdown on yep. uh, February 12th, uh, Friday night, yep. against um, McIntosh County Academy, the on their only loss. and. Uh, 
if they can uh, be, win that game and theoretically go through the uh, region un, un, uh, with just that one loss, then that both teams would have one loss mm -hmm. and they'd be co-champions. And on the girls' side, uh, St. Vincent's is also hosting Appling County this weekend, and, and they also are their, their last three games are against the three of the top teams in the region. So if St. Vincent's can put together a little bit of run, they can certainly vault up the, the region standings uh, going into the region tournament. And so with that, I think we're going to bring this edition of Pulling Court to a close. Don, thanks very much. And thank you for watching. Be sure to check back here next week for another edition of Holding Court. I'm Rich McGowan.